day and welcome back to another video. Um, here is to hashtag TJ, pink for DJ King. I'll leave the hashtag um, below or in the comments, but here we have it. This is called Bubblegum um, Pebble Leather Tailor Tote. Pebble Leather Tailor Tote. And um, I decided to pull out my Coach Cherry this time. I think it's so cute. If you can see close up, it's like CC's in the inside. And there's my Dollar Tree um, breast cancer um, scarf. I think it's so cute on there. And usually when I carry it, I carry it on the back side. But it has a zipper in the front, which I have stuffed. And then here you can see the Coach it has coach in here, it has coach here, and on this little tag it has coach. And it's the bubblegum pink, um, it has an 11 inch drop. I adjusted this in the front and the back so I can have more um, arm room to put it on my chunky arms. Here is the side view, and you probably can hear it has feet. Here's the back view. And here's the other side, and as you can see, I have it stuffed. Um, I don't, let's see how wide it is. It's a little wonky. It's smaller than I anticipated. Um, let's say six inches depth. Um, I think this is about um, 16 inches wide. And then the height is about 10 inches. Just a rough estimate of the size of it. So let's take a peek at the inside. It has this nice zipper that kind of lays flat and your girl has it stuffed and believe it or not, sometimes I adjust the stuff just to carry my cup because I like to carry a cup. Um, this is my Stoney Clover cup. I love this cup, it keeps it cold. And I got this from Target for 10 bucks. And um, it even has like a heart to the straw. So yeah, this is what it's looking like, but let's first look at the front zipper. This looks so cute like that. Um, and here your girl got it packed. Here's my keys. I have another little Hello Kitty key ring. I moved um, it out of, I, I just got sick of it hanging on my little coach. Um, here I have some lip balm by Oreo. Um, it's really quite moisturizing. This is what it looks like. I have one in blue or green and one in that color. Um, I have some pepper spray and I have my little safety tool, my little knife. And then I have my little coach six ring key ring with my keys in it. So yep, that's what's in the front pocket. And that's all I have in the front pocket. And the zipper is really smooth. I like how they have these little, so you can hold it to move it. And then here, let's get into the bag. This is my Minnie Mouse. The Disney collection just came out. I didn't see any pieces that I had to have. I feel like I have enough. It has a pocket back here. And in here, um, I have change and my little purse hook for the table. Um, and those are pretty sturdy. It pretty holds a decent amount of stuff. And then here I have my Hello Kitty pouch. This is kind of like my little um, electric toothbrush. I have a comb and I have some toothpicks, um, toothpaste, and then some dental floss. This is what I like to carry to work because sometimes you eat food and you just have to get it out of your teeth. Does it kind of give me... Sometimes when you have little pouches like this, everything has its own little place and its own little way of being in here before. And it has Hello Kitty on the outside, if you guys can see that. Really cute. I got this from um, Dasco. It's cute. And then here, I got this little pouch from Dazzle Me 77. Um, it's so cute. Um, and then this is the fingernail polish that I'm wearing. It's orly and the color is kaleidoscope. And um, it's really cute. I got three coats on. It took three coats before it looked better and one or two didn't work. And then I have my little blossom top coat. I use that sometimes if I get a chip, I'll try to 
fix it and then I have this Dollar Tree pen, pencil or pen with a little donut. Too cute. So I just carry my polish sometimes to work because I hate it when you get a chip and then it just looks that way. Um, I need to get a fingernail you know, polish remover so I can take stuff off. Um, here's my little Coach wallet. It's in black. I think it's adorable. These are nice and compact. It's like the pebble leather. Let's see. I don't think I have much exposed. And then here you can put your money. And then here you can have change. It's, it's very nice. And I have my little snack pouch. It's in my little Hello Kitty Ziploc bag. Um, I got my little Hello Kitty tree. I got these from Minnesota. I think they're pretty good. There's like a, what is it, a rice roll or something. Egg flavor. I got some nuts. And bubble yum, bubble gum. I love bubble gum, bubble yum, bubble gum. And then I have um, some classic bubble gum by Extra. My favorite gum is actually um, Spearmint. I love Spearmint. But isn't that cute? The little Hello Kitty. I got this from Dansko. And then here I have a little book. I think I got this from either Dazzle Me 77 or Miss T. Or I could have got it from Deluxe. Um, but I'm not sure. But whoever I got it from, thank you very much. It's really cute. I like the feels like leather. Keep life simple. And it's just regular paper. Cute. And then I have my little Mac pouch. The only thing I have in here is some Lysol wipes just in case they spill. It's like that plastic um, makeup bag. I love these little cherries. So cute. With the gold. Cute, cute, cute. And then um, here is my fossil back here. I don't have anything. I have my spoon knife fork combo. And then here I have these little wipes. I'm really enjoying these. Um, they're great flavor. They're like facial wipes. I'm sure you can use them on your body. They're really cute. And then um, here in this pocket, I hope you guys can see, I have my little kit. I love these. I love this little kit. And it snaps up and it stays closed, which is what I really like. So here is my Fossil Cosmetic Bag. It's in leather. It's kind of big. I should, probably should have used a smaller one with this bag, but it's so cute. Um, I had to, it's like eight inches wide. The depth is like almost four, and then the height is five. So it holds a lot. And when I go to work, I like to carry stuff that I may use or may not use because you just never know. When you work 12-hour shifts, sometimes you just need your stuff. But I got my little Barbie Kleenex in here. Um, I have some wipes, body wipes, facial wipes. And I love this Ivana. Avion? Avion. That's how you pronounce it. It's a facial spray. It's really nice and cooling. Um... I got some Lysol, and I actually got this from e Etsy, the makeup people. Um, it's a hand cream. This is really nice. It doesn't really smell that great. It's soft. It's it's mild, but it's really creamy. It's nice for your hands, hand cream. And I love powder. Um, I love to freshen up and put this on my on chest. Yes. Yeah, so this is English Lavender by Yardley. Um, this stuff is nice. I like the compact size. I did get this from TJ Maxx. I haven't seen it there in a while, but you can order it off Amazon. I got some Dove deodorant sometimes. Um, you might have to freshen up after working, moving around. This is some lip gloss. It's like iridescent. It's really nice. It's really pretty. Um, it's kind of got like that pink hue to it. Um, it's sticky. Um, I got this perfume on my top. I got this from Dazzle Me 77 via La Juicy. Yes. Um, and then I have the cuticle oil in here. It's got rose, rose petals, roses in here. And um, Advil. I got one of those towel compressors. Um, I have my little um, pill container. I got this from Hello. Um, 
Hey lady, I always think mine to say hello kitty because she likes hello. Hey kitty. Tylenol. Um, I got this um, Vaseline lip, th lip Therapy Bubbly Pink. I got this from Jar Jar B. I I got so many cool YouTube friends. You guys have to check out their channels. Oh my god, I can't get it. I don't want to do my nails. I don't want to pull it up, but um, this is Salvador Fragamani perfume. Look at the little pink ribbon. It's so cute. And it's called Sica de Nora. That means Mademoiselle or female. Um, and Flora, which is flowers. So it's a nice scent. I'm going to have some emergency vitamin C, this Dollar Tree. Um, and then I have this intense um, LA Colors lip gloss. And then I have my dad's handkerchief. I have the white one this time. And basically that's it. Um, it has like that that um, washable lining in the inside. And I just have some silicone things here. And then I have this little top to this perfume. So yeah, that's what's in my bag. So another, um, I guess, breast cancer awareness tip um, I would suggest is if you're going through chemo or you're about to go through chemo, I remember my doctor telling me, um, hey, make sure you cut your hair before your second chemo treatment. And of course, my hair, I have been growing it natural for some time and I wasn't quite ready to cut it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And so I had got in the shower after my second chemo treatment, maybe like a week later. I think I went every um, other week for the first couple of treatments because of the potency of the chemo drug. And um, I washed my hair and it was just big globs of it in the shower. And I was thinking to myself, girl, you got to cut your damn hair. And I was trying to get everybody to cut it. And everybody's like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, yeah, I'll cut it. And then I, I had some clippers. And I was like, cut my hair, babe. Cut my hair. And nobody wanted to really cut my hair. And um, when I finally had to get it cut, because I ended up having to have another surgery, because I had an infection. Man, look at that. I hate when you take a bag apart and you can't put it back like how you originally had it. Um, because everything I have is standing up and now I got it trying to lay down but I want to pack everything in here because I'm planning on taking this to work but anyway when I finally went to the shop to get my hair cut I went to a barber shop and I just randomly did it and my sister took me and it was so refreshing to have my hair cut and to be a bald head. And I remember my brother was taking me somewhere because I couldn't drive. And he, um, I kept giving him a hard time. And he was like, yo bald head, if you don't leave me alone with your bald head, I could just, and I just start cracking up. Boy, I, it was just so rejuvenating. So my point to the whole story is, if you guys listen, is cut your hair sooner than later so you don't have to deal with seeing it fall out because it just was coming out and it was just like after that I couldn't even comb it I wouldn't even touch it it was just like sitting on top of my head like a rag so um thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out